Hello everyone, welcome back to Skeleton Bushcraft and Survival. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope everyone's having an awesome day, regardless of what time it is as you're watching this video. If you like my content, if you enjoy watching, and you haven't already, please consider subscribing. Hit the like button, it helps me out, and it helps push it out to a larger audience so that maybe more people can uh, benefit from the things that I come up with. I may come up with something new, I may not come up with something new, but it's just my take on different ideas that might be useful, helpful, and more beneficial in certain circumstances. Now, my brother, Outdoors with Joker, I'll leave a link up here and I'll put it in the description if you want to check him out. He came up with a fire kit and a grinds can. And this is where it gave me an idea. And a few videos ago, and I'll leave that in the description as well, if you want to check that out. I was talking about the difference between a handmade survival kit versus a store-bought survival kit. If it's handmade, everything in there you personally put in there. So you're going to get more of a benefit out of it if you know everything's in there, how to use it, and so on and so forth. Right? Well, using a grinds can, creating your own fire kit, I think is a really awesome idea. I, I really do. When I saw my brother do it, I had to take part in it. And I put different things in mind than he did his, but I'm going to bring you down here and we're going to go through what's in here. But I want to point out that a grind can, instead of a tobacco can or a beef jerky can, has a little lid on top. Which allowed me to put a uh, <laughs> striker for matches. And it keeps it away from the matches inside. And it prevents any unwanted fires to start. So I really think that's a, a really cool little idea. You can put other stuff in here as well. It has about a quarter of an inch uh, gap that you put other stuff in there. But anyways, let's go ahead and get to the contents inside. All right, now there's a few things that I want to bring up. It's always a good idea to have more than one way of ignition. But it's also a really good idea to have more than one X type of extender as well. That way, you kind of guaranteed three fires at least. Maybe even four. So, in this kit, not only do I have the striker here, but I also have the contents inside. Another thing to think about too, is inside the kit, everything should be there that you need to get the fire going. So, it is true that I always carry a knife with me. But what if you don't have a knife with you? That's the point. In the kit, everything should be there that you would need to get that fire going. So, for ignition sources, I have a lighter. I have stormproof, waterproof matches. And I have a ferro rod with a striker. For the extenders, I have birch bark, paper birch, fatwood, and Bigfoot bushcraft fire plugs, which you can cut in half and get more than one fire out of. So I'm gonna go ahead and set everything up. I'm gonna get three fires going, show how easy it is to get a fire going with this right here, and also show that everything in here is all I need to get a fire going, minus the fuel to add to it, which I'm not gonna to do today. Everybody's seen me start a fire in earlier videos several times over. So, yeah. All right, now, I showed that I had the matches, the ferro rod, and the uh, lighter. The reason why that I have two matches in there is just because what if the lighter fails? In this case, I just got an old lighter. It doesn't even work. It just has spark, but by having two matches in there, which I don't have everything out here right now that was in the kit. Most of it's in here. But I have two matches, then I still have that three fires. Regardless if this doesn't work or not. So, the first thing I'm going to do is the Bushcraft fire uh, plug. Using the same striker, and you can get this. It comes with the Foster uh, ferro rod. These things right here are actually amazing. If you're looking for a ferro rod, Foster is the way to go. 
and just use this right here to break into in order to be able to get the fluff out because it's kind of hard with it being so narrow to actually bend it and do all that stuff but all right so now let's go ahead and get the fire going i'm going to set it right there there we go one strike that fire is going i can also use this same striker to get some fat wood because it has a really sharp edge on it so I'm able to do this and of course use the match There's a second fire right there. And of course, using my other match, I would be able to utilize the birch bark. Or, I can also use the ferro rod again. So anyways, like I said, since the lighter is useless, and that happens, that happens. Having a backup, like I said, with another match, then... I have another ignition source here, and I have another extender, which is the burst bark. And you see that burns for a while. Enough time to get other stuff caught. So, that's three fires using what I have in the kit. So everything in the kit, I had at least three fires. And in truth, I could actually get a fourth one. I still have a ferro rod that can be used for more than one, of course. So as you see, this is an awesome little kit. I absolutely love this idea. My brother came up with it, like I said. I'll leave a link in the description. Outdoors the Joker, check him out. He just got through doing a video, and he's going to be doing a video soon. So I think you'll enjoy. Now if you're wanting to make a fire kit that matches mine, here's where I got all the stuff. The grinds can be bought in gas stations or online. They're coffee grounds, you might enjoy. But the way that it's made, it's kind of perfect for this little fire kit. For this right here, this is Bigfoot Bushcraft Fire Plugs. If you're interested in these, and, like, and I want to point out that they're actually longer than these. I cut these in half because you can get more in one use out of them. But if you want to check those out and get some for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description for that as well. And promo code Skeleton, you can get 15% off on your first purchase. The ferro rod, I actually got from the magnesium bar. So it's like $5 at Walmart. You get the magnesium bar, and these things normally fall off and you have to glue them back on. I chose not to glue them back on and use them, well, for this. Now this right here, like I said, came from the Foster fire uh, fire steel uh, ferro rod I definitely advertise uh, um, Foster's tip top brand high quality it's worth the money it's only like 10 bucks big lighters of course you can find anywhere and uh, <laughs> instead of just getting an old one <laughs> get a new one <laughs> but uh the birch bark we don't have any birch around here so that one right there was just uh, sent to me by a friend. And for the striker on the inside, I actually used from the UCO uh, matches, the weatherproof matches. And uh, these things right here are only like $5 at Walmart. And a whole bunch of matches that come with them. And of course, inside, there's more strikers. So when this goes bad, you can replace them. Well... There's several of them in here, so I just took one and glued it to the top there. 
And that's where I got all my stuff that I put in there. But if you want to make your own, of course, you can put whatever in there that you want, that you know how to use, you like better, whatnot, so on and so forth. So, uh, yep. Like I said, I really do like this idea, and I hope you do too. That's going to be it for me today. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, take care. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you like this type of video, please like, share, and subscribe. I have many more coming up in the future. Until then, take care. And remember, nature, it does provide.